And there's new research out of um, Harvard Medical School about social contagion. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of obvious and intuitive that you um, catch the moods of people around you. But now they're finding that people get fat in groups, they get happy in groups, they quit smoking in groups. Nicholas Christakis and I have been very fortunate to find a resource in the Framingham Heart Study that we never imagined we could find. They were asking people for 32 years, who are your family members? Where do you work? Where do you live? And most importantly, who are your friends? For the first time, now that we have data like this, we are able to get a bird's eye view of networks like the networks that you live in. We had some validated measures of various emotions, including happiness. And uh, what we attempted to show and were able to show is that my happiness depends not just on my own actions and thoughts and behaviors, but also on the actions and thoughts and behaviors of the people to whom I'm directly connected, my friends, siblings, spouses, neighbors, coworkers, and so forth, and the people to whom they are connected, and the people even to whom they are connected. And what this finding is showing us is that it's not just behaviors that are spreading through networks, it's also these emotional states that are spreading through networks. So we think that what's spreading is this tendency to transmit ideas, these norms of behavior. 